Hi everyone, this is the first video from 2507 Summer 2020 regarding this set of questions, set problem 1. Uh, this is question 2. Uh, in this question we have a, a simple circuit, so we have VDD up here, applied to RM, and then we have RN and RB in parallel. So for this circuit, we find we need to find expressions from the Thevenin equivalent circuit parameters if so for case one i, R B is an open circuit and case two if R B is finite, and then on three or four once we have the equations for i and uh, for one and two we just uh, substitute uh, the values of the resistances and V D D and then we compute the Thevenin and, and Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin uh, resistance. So for the first case it says that RB is an open circuit so in this case we just remove RB from the circuit and then it becomes an open circuit like this right so we want to calculate the we want to calculate just we want to calculate the Thevenin's resistance seen from this terminal here and to calculate the Thevenin resistance seen from that terminal, uh, we have to basically remove term VDD off. So VDD here must be turned off. And for that, we substitute VDD as a short circuit. So the, the circuit that we end up having for calculating the Thevenin resistance is just a resistor here, other one here, right? So this is RM. This is Rn, and then here we have the open circuit for Rb, and that's the Thevenin resistance. So in this case, if you look at the circuit, you see that the resistance seen from these terminals here, it's just Rm in parallel with Rn, and we know that for, for that, it's just Rm times Rn divided by Rm plus Rn. So that's the, the first equation for the Thevenin uh, resistance. Now for the Thevenin voltage or the open circuit voltage, we turn VDD on again, but then our circuit, it becomes so let me just uh, change this one here. So our circuit, it becomes VDD here, right? So we have VDD, then we have RM here. We have RN here, so it goes to the ground. Here it goes to the ground. This is RN. And then here we have our terminals again. So this open circuit voltage here is actually the Thevenin voltage, right? And then to calculate this voltage, we just uh, analyze the circuit and see that that's the same voltage that is being applied to Rn. So if we use a voltage divider here, we can calculate the voltage that's applied across Rn. So what's the part of VDD here that's being applied to Rn? And that's our Thevenin voltage. So in this case, our VDD using the voltage divider is just, sorry, not VDD, it's the TH, right? Or the open circuit voltage is just VDD times Rn divided by Rm plus Rn. And that's the second equation for I, okay? Now for the second part of this problem, so if we go back here, we have an RB that's finite. So we don't know the value of RB yet, but that it has some value. So RB stays in the circuit, and then we just need to figure out what's the Thevenin resistance seen from this terminal here and the open circuit voltage in this case here. So the procedure is basically the same as for part one, but in this case for the Thevenin resistance, 
So if we turn off VDD, then we have our M here that goes to the ground, right? We have then our N that also goes to the ground. And now our B is finite, so it has some value. So our B is here. And this is the Tavanon resistance that this is for part two. So we want to calculate the resistance seen from this terminal. That's the Tevanon resistance, right? So remember that you are turning off VDD by you inserting a short circuit. So in this case, because if you look at the circuit, we have RM in parallel with RN in parallel with RB. So in this case, we have like multiple resistance in parallel. So our final Tevanon resistance is going to be one over Rm plus one over Rn plus one over Rb to the minus one. Remember that this equation of one over Rm, Rn, and Rb, it's the it's one over the the equivalent resistance. So that's why we are taking my to the minus one here to invert this entire sum summation. So that's the equation for the Tavanon resistance. Okay, and for the voltage, we plug back the VDD in the circuit. So VDD goes back in the circuit here. This is VDD. Then we have RM here, RN here. Then we have RB here, RN. M and we want to calculate this voltage here which is the Tevanon voltage. So in this particular case um, to calculate this voltage basically if we look at the circuit this voltage is the same voltage that's been applied to the equivalent resistance here right so if we calculate this equivalent resistance and then we apply a voltage divider here, we can calculate the this voltage VTH. So in this particular case, we can call so just is this here? we can call this one here as an equivalent resistance. Okay, so we call REQ. So REQ is equals to RN times RB divided by RB plus RN. So that's the equivalent resistance. So at the end, these two resistance here, RN and RB, become our EQ. And if we just redraw the circuit, then we would have uh, the same case as we had before. But instead of just RN, it's going to be the parallel between RN and RB. So if we know this REQ, we can calculate on the third and fourth part, on the fourth part using the values, but we can just use our Q here as a variable in the next step. So we just calculate VTH. So let me take another color here. So VTH is going to be equals to, so we want to, basically the voltage applied to this equivalent resistance is the Tevanon voltage, right? So we take VDD times the equivalent resistance divided by this equivalent resistance plus um, RM, okay? And that's the equation for Tevanon voltage. Okay. Now for part three and part four, we just need to plug in some values in the equation. So I'll just give you the final results. But so for part three, okay, you can check that on the solutions at C U Learn. So for three RTH is equals to 4.8K and VTH is equals to six volts. Right, and for part four, um, RTH, so the Tevanon resistance, is equals to 
18 uh, kilo ohms and VTH is equals to 2.72 volts so those are the the answer okay but you just have to use this is this equation here this one here and the others two that we have one here and another one here okay so that's it for this problem